Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And for this week's video, I decided to do something a little different, a little cute. Well, mm, a lot of my baby Yoda stuff, I guess, would be considered cute. Yes, I would consider it cute. But I wanted to do something kind of quick and fun and that related to a lot of today's topics, which in my opinion is just Animal Crossing. That's all I do anymore. I think I have a slight addiction. I don't think a game could have come into everyone's zeitgeist at a more perfect time than Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you guys aren't playing it, I highly recommend it. But I wanted to show my appreciation for the game by making a cosplay, because why not? And also I really wanted to do this for other people who are also making Animal Crossing cosplays and I'm going to be doing virtual photoshopping of them into my outfit. So of course, of course, I had to choose a character from the game that kind of represents me in a little bit of a way. I'm not necessarily like, I don't really sell my outfits. I'm more of a maker. So technically instead of Mabel that you're looking at, I probably should have done Sable, but Mabel has like the best color scheme. It's blue and green. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made my Mabel cosplay. It's super easy. It actually cost me zero dollars because I had the wonderful April Gloria send me her wig that I styled and all of my stuff came from my stash. So within this video, it's going to be me showing you how I made the ears and how I styled the wig and how I made the apron, as well as how I'm going to do my makeup, which I haven't done yet, kind of have half of it on. So we'll, we'll do it later in the video. And then a reveal at the end of the video with all of it together. So let's get started. So the wig I'm using for Mabel is a wig graciously donated by my lovely friend April Gloria. It is the Heidi style from Arda Wigs in the dark blue. So the first thing you want to do is just slap it on a wig head and start brushing it through. Unfortunately, I could not cut this wig at all because once again, it was not mine. So I just chose to pick some random pieces of the hair and just kind of spike it forwards and backwards and more or less kind of um, focusing on the style towards the front. Um, but I suggest if you are doing Mabel to cut your wig and spike it a little more towards a hedgehog look. Um, but make sure you get that little front bang curl uh, accurate because that is a part of Mabel that seems to uh, stand out the most is the front of her hair. So for the ears, you are only going to need a headband, a thin one, I suggest, some cardboard pieces, and some fabric. I actually used the suede side of some leftover leather from my katana build uh, back in the day. So you'll just want to go ahead and cut out an ear-shaped piece. And you're going to want to leave the bottom of it kind of flat because that's actually where you're going to um, attach it to the headband. You'll see in the video. So basically I'm making a leather sandwich with the cardboard inside using a specific glue called leather weld that I am putting the cardboard on the inside and another piece of leather on the outside. And then um, clipping it together with some wonder clips to make sure it dries nice and flat, but I'm not drying, excuse me, I'm not gluing that lower portion because you'll see why here in a second. Because I didn't glue that lower portion, I was able to slip it on the headband and then re-glue it with the headband into the ear section using those wonder clips. Uh, you can do this with hot glue, you can do it with any pretty, pretty much any kind of glue, even super glue, but I do suggest using a glue that does dry clear. Next, I am painting Mabel's ears using the Plaid FX Smooth Satin Leather Paint in Beige. It's a great paint for this because it just requires two layers. It does not soak through the leather at all, and it turned out to be quite perfect. The last thing I'm doing to the ears is making them a little more three-dimensional by taking some uh, an art, a brown art marker that I had and just going in between the leather and the paint to give the ears a little more depth. This is something you don't have to do, but I definitely thought it made the ears look a whole lot better. Okay, next is the apron. I used an old apron for the pattern and I'm using 
canvas actually to make the apron itself. I just laid the apron that I knew I was gonna take the pattern off of on top of the un canvas took a trace of it all the way around and then marked my one inch seam allowance. Once you have your pattern all marked out, go ahead and grab a rotary cutter or scissors, I'm using the Ulfa Quick Change here, and cut out your apron. And ready for the stripe marking. Now, uh, one thing I did do on this that I wish I didn't is, um, I wish I didn't use pencil, because the pencil did not come off this after I painted it, but I did do two inch wide stripes all the way, uh, a checkerboard pattern all the way through the apron, and then grabbed the Plaid FX uh, darker green paint and some paintbrushes and ready to paint. Now I do suggest watering down the paint and doing the horizontal stripes first and then once you do the vertical stripes or vice versa, the spots that you'll need to go over to become darker are the places like in the middle of the cross sections uh, that makes it look more like a gingham pattern. Now that everything is painted, go ahead and hem your apron. Don't forget to clip those curves and press them down before you sew them. It'll make it lay a whole lot better. I just used a regular one, one and a half inch wide ribbon to measure out the length around my neck and around my waist and just top stitch it to the apron. Last thing I did was fray check the ends of the ribbon. And so now your apron is done. Okay, so now you've seen how I made the ears, how I styled the wig, and how I made the apron that's behind me. So now we're gonna do the makeup. And honestly, I really kind of don't know what I'm going to be doing for this. I know, all I know is that Mabel has, I mean, she's a hedgehog. <laughs> I can't really do much with that. Uh, I'm not gonna do full special effects makeup. This is more gonna be like a fashion cutesy look. So I don't wanna make it too a la Baby Yoda mode with the stuff across my nose, but I do know she has these, she has those giant, like, I guess, blush. I, I would assume that's blush, not really contour, on her cheekbones and eyebrows that are black and then just little slits for eyes. So I think we're gonna do kind of a, just smoky eye with a little bit of blue for the eye and then some insane amount of blush on my cheekbones. We will see how this goes. Uh, I already have my foundation done and my eyebrows done and my lips done. However, I think I might change the shape of my lips depending on how everything else goes. So let's first put my hair up, ready it for the wig and then talk through the makeup. One of the best looks ever. You don't know a true cosplayer until you've seen them in their wig cap. All right, so let's first work on the eyes. I'm going to be doing kind of just a simple, we're using the, the Tar, the Tease palette from Tarte, just a simple blue, not blue, gosh, speak words, words, brown. That's the color, brown, brown. I'm gonna put brown on my eyes. She doesn't need to be too crazy, you know, she's just owning her little shop and selling you some pretty awesome fashion and allowing you to make your own fashion with her sister and her awesome other sister, LaBelle, which I've only met twice on my island. You guys, you guys gotta let me know who your favorite Animal Crossing animal character is in the game in the comments below. Let me, let me hear ya. I just have an affinity for Mabel because I like her color scheme and she's got her own business and she's just doing doing all the cool stuff. I'm pretty much just doing a basic brown smoky eye maybe, whatever this is, cause we're doing some cool reveals at the end and I'm shooting stuff for TikTok so I need to make my eyes actually make sense. But I am gonna do some blue, because why not? She's blue, she's a hedgehog. Right under my eyes here. And maybe a 
along the eyeliner line, but probably not because I just realized that my eyeliner is going to cover that. So, all's a fault. So, next I'm going to do big winged eye because she's a business owner badass, and I feel like she would have winged eye makeup if she didn't have, you know, slits for eyes. I just realized I left my orange blush downstairs. I'm gonna have to go get it. Before then, eyelashes. So here's the blush application. I don't ever normally wear blush. So we're just gonna go ham and just, mmm, old school 80s style. I don't have orange. Oh wow, that is intense. <laughs> Oh, Mabel girl, we gotta talk about your blush application. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready to be in a dance, dance recital circle of the year, circle of the year 1998. Yes, yes queen. Now I have some highlight, cause why not? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Best part of just going ham on all of this is just I've never used this much highlighter and this much blush before, so it's kind of fun. She has a definitive circle of blush, so try to do as much as I can. I might just even put some orange. I do have orange eyeshadow, but it's glittery. So. Oh, 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 this, oh, this might be the color that we need, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, perfect. Ridiculous and large. Thus my cheeks are. Making sure it's even. Oh yeah. Now I feel, I feel whole. I feel like I just looked into my family's year decades photo albums in the 1980s or 70s. I don't know. I don't think this blush actually exists. Maybe in the minstrel shows of the 20s? <laughs> okay. Last thing I'm going to do is overline my lips just a little bit because she's a hedgehog and she's a cartoon and why the hell not? I feel like a patchwork doll. But essentially, I think this is all the makeup I really wanted to do. So now we are going to get dressed and then do the reveal. And let's see how all this works out. I'm sure it's gonna be super cute. I wish I had a magic wand or a bamboo wand or a star wand or, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the wands in the game, but I will probably use it for this video. cosplay. It took me about two evenings to do, maybe three with the apron. I'm not too sure, but um, this is easily probably one of the cutest things I've ever done. Besides the fact that the blush is a little heavy, not gonna lie, this is really cute. And I want to thank April for sending me your wig to be able to style it. It really worked out super cute. A couple things I would have done differently, maybe a different shirt. Weirdly, this is the only blue shirt that I had in the tone of the hair, but I think it kind of works. Maybe, yeah. Um, I will have probably not done the pencil marks on the apron since that shows a little bit, but the ears, however, are my favorite thing. I really loved making these ears with the scraps of Katana uh, leather that I had and it worked out perfectly. 
If you would like to make your own Mabel cosplay, I will be putting up the at least the ears and the apron in my store for sale. So if you'd like to grab it, you can go ahead. And if you're the first one there to grab it, it's all yours. Don't know the price on it yet, but as of this video and forward, it will be in my store for sale for you to make your own, to become Mabel yourself. I'm really excited. I'm really happy that I did this. Uh, it was a very nice little break away from the heavier alterations that I did for the Stormtrooper for May the 4th and uh, right before I'm getting ready to start a bigger build for Yennefer for my next cosplay. I'm going to be working on her corset next and then I'm going to move into the dress. So it was nice to kind of have a little break or something fun and super relevant in the zeitgeist right now to, to post on the social medias and have fun with. So. I'm probably gonna go downstairs and eat dinner and then play Animal Crossing for the rest of the evening. Like I do pretty much every evening now in this quarantine. Hello darkness, my old friend. But thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would really love that. And please like and share this video with all of your Animal Crossing friends. And if you are making an Animal Crossing cosplay, let me see it. Tag me in all of your socials. I would love to see it, especially if you're gonna make Mabel. I wanna see your version of it. I will see you all next week with the next cosplay video. Bye. No mortar and pestling. You know, like pestling. What? what, what? What would be the verb of pest, mortar and pestle? Quarantine has got to whistle. Oh.